neighborhood are we in? North Philadelphia. Okay. Are there any other names this neighborhood goes by? Oh, it's a lot of different names, Northern but it's still Liberties. North Philadelphia. Liberties. Northern Liberties. Liberties. Liberties? Yes. Okay. Does anyone say Ludlow? No? No. Okay. Is it that Ludlow? Yeah. Yes. yes. People do. Yeah. Yeah. Poplar, but I've never heard anyone say Poplar. Yeah. Anyone hear Poplar? Yes. Okay. I kind of heard that one. It's on, yeah. It's on maps. Yeah. <laughs> disconnect between maybe. Yeah, I mean maps don't always represent right. exactly what people call it, like the boundaries that we have. Yeah. Um, the cool thing about Quill, I thought, is that it looks like a neighborhood. It's well in Philadelphia it looks like a neighborhood. It doesn't yeah. look like every neighborhood, but the way that our blocks work together. Right. What what's going on? What? Oh, oh you are <laughs> Yeah. What's going on in the neighborhood here? Rebuilding. Yeah, I, that's a big <laughs> question. I wanted to start on? really generally. Building. Yeah. What are okay? Say more. Uh, we, uh, making new homes. Um, everything's changing. Um, we're making new stores. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Making new neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. Say, yeah. Can you say more about what that means? <laughs> well, I said that because, <laughs> wait, I've only been here two years, so I'm just trying to get a feel for things. But the, there's there's a lot of growth. There's a lot of new homes, uh -huh. and there's a lot of very old and classy looking homes mm -hmm. well next to the new homes. Oh, okay. So you've got that little bit of you know, visual disconnect. Oh, right. right. Old and new. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Uh -huh. You know, and. Um, I think maybe a lot of, I shouldn't say this, but this is just my own feeling, that I think when these new buildings were put in place, I think it sort of makes the rest of the neighborhood look like it doesn't belong to each other. Right. Does that make any yeah. sense? Yeah. Can I ask a question along with this? What's sure. the geographic? So you, some people say North Philly, some people say North what are the street boundaries you're talking about? I think Norbert Liberties are, starts from like Gerard that way. North Philly to me is from Gerard that, that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gerard is always been like, yeah, like I think of Northern Liberties as like east of the Yeah. Okay. It's a beast like that. the corner as what? Northern Liberties, more so than on the other side. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. This was originally like in the 1700s from this side of Dry down right. to like Spring right. Bar over to the um, Front Street. It was called Northern Liberty, but it's still a section of Philadelphia, uh, North Philadelphia. Right. This side where I'm at on this side of North Dry, they call it by different names. They call it Letno, they call it Old Kensington. Okay, they call it New Kensington. This side over here, where the projects are, uh -huh. where Richard Allen at, is still North Philadelphia. The whole neighborhood is North Philadelphia. You get the negative North Philadelphia con um, sex saying when something goes wrong. Oh. All the Temple University is North Philadelphia. Yeah. Yorktown is North Philadelphia. Harrison is North Philadelphia. Jefferson Manor is North Philadelphia. Brewery Town is North Philadelphia, but that's all the way over. But it's all nice town. It's all North Philadelphia. When they want to disassociate themselves with North Philly, they say, I live in Northern Liberties, which they may live in Northern Liberties, but it is still oh, North, North Philadelphia, Philadelphia right. which is so, part of Philadelphia. Okay. Right. Thank you for that clarification. Yeah, so a name is not a politically neutral decision, right? No, and some people are thinking of new names for the neighborhood yeah. too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Temple Town. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> where I organize in, in North Central, they tried to rebrand it Temple Town. The yeah. Well, they over. tried to say this was Temple Town over here yeah. a lot north where I'm at. Uh -huh. And it's not Temple Town, and I don't particularly like Temple, but that's a whole nother subject. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. um, okay, so there's a lot of new development happening. Mm -hmm. 
And with the new development, okay, take this way, West. 10th and 11th, it was two high rise um, um, project apartment buildings. They exploded them yeah. and made um, town, what they call town houses. They said it was too many people congested in one neighborhood. But yet, on my block and every block all the way around here, they put they what was traditionally a one family house, they don't convert it into three or more apartments. So what is congestion about? There is nowhere to park. Everybody has yeah. a dog. Nobody picks up behind a dog. They think their dog's supposed to go on your property. I just confronted a man on my way around here. He like, I'm texting, I'm gonna pick it up. I took his picture. He don't have to pick it up, but I'm gonna follow him <laughs> and record him because I'm sick of it. Yeah. So congestion could be a reason yes. for demolishing something, but at the same time developers, private developers are making houses more congested for certain neighbors. For no, for all neighbors, everywhere, all neighbors. It's about them making money. Exactly. It's not the new people coming in. It's not the old people that have been living there for um, 30 plus years. It's the man that's trying to make money. Uh -huh. The construction company. I don't blame the new people. I don't blame the old people. I don't blame the people who've been here for a minute. But it's the um, developers. Yeah. They don't live in this community or no other community around here that they're developing in. Because they would never put those many units on their block. Okay. Doesn't coding have anything to do with No, yes, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Zoning. But they zoning. Zoning. L and I being like Natura. L and I. They, that's they a have joke. a rep it's yeah, a joke. Don't it's a joke. So they have like a reputation, L and I. So zone oh, did you want to say something? Yeah, I just wanted to say there's also not just not just that, like the, there's a church not too far from here that closed its doors because they said that, 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 that it was unsound, that the, um, the building was un, unsound. Um, but it's a historic church, a historic parish. And that was really hard on a lot of families. And it, it moved out a lot of families who used to be around here stay here and it took one of the cornerstones of this community away and I mean the, the feelings are still real strong when you talk to folks who went to that parish and yet other things were fixed up and other things you know were to, but that was more down. Same thing with parks, parks being taken away you know and, and then building things instead. It's like, you know, come on, we still need green spaces. Yeah. Especially, like you said, when a lot of people are moved in, you need green spaces. The reason why you're having problems with dogs and stuff like that is because, yeah. because there's not enough of those green spaces and shared, shared spaces where, you know, we share, we share responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're seeing, like, community, important community assets being torn down while money is being invested to build new things but what but those new things are like condos yes mm -hmm. they're what make else big money off of them. Okay. well temple they're putting up a um an apartment building at Broad and, Je and jefferson but what someone told me is that a lot of the construction companies or the contractors they're not required to be concerned about parking spaces okay mm -hmm. They're allowed to just put the buildings. I said, well, they should put some parking under, underground in the building. You know, they should be required to do it. But evidently, they're not. Because no, you can look and be. see. You can look and see that all of these buildings that are putting up. But where are people going to park in the area? I mean, I can tell, because I go to the gym over there. I can tell when Temple students are back, or, yeah. and I can tell when they're on vacation. Right, because you know you just circle and circle, and you know right. you find the parking space, you can find something a few blocks away. But they don't have any accommodation. They want to expand, right? Yeah. They like they want to put up the stadium. But where are people going to park? There yeah. was no parking plan in that. Stadium. No, that, but that's what I'm saying. So but that's what I was told. people were going to come to a game there. <laughs> Not over my body. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to put up this stadium. Oh, it's not going to happen. 
Oh. We standing in front of them bulldozers. We already got a plan. It's not going to happen. They've been talking about it for years. They've been talking about it for a while. Yep, and yeah. we've postponed it three years in a row. Yeah, so. and people keep protesting and protesting, yeah. but you know. Um, okay, and then we can do another, it could be splendid. Things are so political. Uh, well, let's, I have a few more questions. Um, who makes decisions about what buildings go up and which ones get cleaned down? We started to get to it a little bit. Well, a lot of it has to do with just city council president, who's the um, head of this general area. But each councilman, a councilwoman, they have a say uh, what's developed or not developed in there. Things have been approved by the city council. And then they go, whatever, like if I'm a city council person for this area and I go to before my fellow city council persons and I say I want X, Y, or Z in my community, it's very rare that another council person is going to go, go against, against that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that, that, that was the, I don't know if you remember when the sugar house prior to being yeah. built, they had to get approval from the community and other people yeah. in order to build there because they uh -huh. didn't want that negative, the negativity to come with that because in other states there's been drug dealing, prostitution and so forth and so on. So they didn't want that to occur right. here. So. Sometimes it's about the approval, who approves these, these new developments and how sometimes some people get approved real fast and other yeah. people don't. Yeah. And what get approved, you know? Like CDC, CDCs, <coughs> yep. the Community Development Corporation, which a lot of people in the neighborhoods don't know about. So they meet and they'll tell them, well, this is going to be voted on to be approved. But the people in the neighborhood don't, they maybe they put a notice in the paper or whatever, but well, yeah. around here, they stick notices in your door, but they've changed it since I've been living around here. Mm -hmm. okay, they what they do is, know. before, say like, you would be, say maybe, I don't know the exact, but maybe four blocks this way, four blocks that way, four blocks in each direction, mm -hmm. if they was doing something on this corner. Then they brought it down to maybe two blocks, but the way they circle it, they might not go on that side because mm -hmm. that side is considered North Philly, whereas this side is considered Northern Liberty. Uh, and they don't have you, if you live on that side, vote on something on this side, even though it might be a block away. Mm -hmm. So they really compartmentalize yeah. 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 the stuff. So you don't really get to say, even though yeah, this same. is your neighborhood mm -hmm. and you might only live a block away, you don't get to say. You don't get to say because you don't know about it. About the like, things that right? are going to be. Mm -hmm. right. How, and how, they get really how Temple did it when recently Temple acquired a lot of these spaces here. They were open, they acquired all of it, and then they were approved. So how they did it to inform us or whatever, they brought the, some people from the Phillies uh -huh. and tickets, and they stood right out here. I don't know if you all remember, it was like last summer, and they were giving out tickets. Uh -huh. Bang, bang, bang. But also, because they were going to in the future they will bring all these people here. Yeah. They also wanted to catalog who's the people in the neighborhood, so how they went about that. Yeah. They catalog, they catalog, believe me. Any crime, anything, they got your pictures. So they, what they did was, they gave you a ticket, but they have to take your picture with it. Bang! Mm -hmm. So they did that. Yeah, that's interesting. So there's little like buy-offs and community incentives. They gave you a ticket to, to your picture. But it, it doesn't sound like a very democratic process that's very open to community participation. Is there a neighborhood advisory committee? Uh, uh, different ones. Oh, there are different ones. CDCs, yes, they're called C Community Development Program. Not the CDCs, but the specific, it's like the individual the NAC, the NAC. The NAC. Yeah. yeah, they have them around here. They have, Northern Liberty has one. They and have one over here on this side of the drive, drive too. Right now, so I know what they're supposed to do, and so I'm asking, because you were saying you weren't aware. So one of the ways I know that the city uses the NACs is that they're supposed to be the people who knock on the door to let you know when hearings are coming. So if there's anything that's supposed to interact with your community, the, the NAC role, their existence is for that purpose. Well, so I was wondering how you're saying on, 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 a, on one side, on but, but if it's something that's 
So on this side of the ride, which I live a block on that side, they don't usually say what's going on because this is the Northern Liberties neck, and I forgot the name of this neck where I'm at. Gotcha. So can you community fibers? No. People don't know. So let's. It sounds like there's a lot of a lot of details and little organizations and so let's um, before I think we should keep talking about that but in small groups and can I ask one more question before we break up into small groups to get us thinking more about what our what the community we want looks like what like what does um, what do we want our neighborhood to look like if someone did ask us if City Council and the NACs and the RCOs and all these little organizations that are supposed to represent our interests actually did ask us, what would we say? What do you guys want to have in your neighborhood? More activities for the youth. Okay. Can, um, what kind? Anything to keep them out of trouble and out of the street selling drugs. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Um, more open. Uh, Faculties like um, what's the recreation center? More recreation centers. Yeah, I know when I was growing up, there was exactly. no meetings. There was so many now recreation centers. There's very many, and a lot of funding has been cut for. Yep, that's right. Well, funding, funding has been cut for libraries, libraries too. So a lot of the kids now, like, did, you barely see kids even driving bikes anymore, yeah. or even playing outside playing jump. Yeah. Are, are there like baseball leagues or basketball leagues that are run by the rec centers? Oh, yeah, there's scale? some, but it's yeah. so limited. It's now. not enough. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. It was too expensive for a lot of people. Yeah. Oh, you had to pay for it? Yeah. 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 yeah, when we was growing up, it was free. Free. Yeah. They used to have many, many free rec centers, but now. And the way that I don't even know what's going on here is you put your kid in some camp. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, it's like a thousand or something a month. Yeah. So lower rent would be a great thing to have for our neighborhoods. Lower taxes. Which don't pay taxes. A lot of new yeah, no, no. homes and yeah. new developments and like. They get the tenure. They get the tenure. Tax tax just repealed. No, no, they're not going to repeal it. No, they're passed, they put a bill, Cindy, Cindy Bass uh, proposed a bill to end the abatement, but it's not, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, and I think it has, the, the tax abatement in my mind, the tax abatement and the developers, which by the way, not only does like an individual house get an abatement, but co the contract is also an they just passed them twenty yeah. million dollars. Exactly, tax abatement. Um, any new construction in the city, which if we're looking, if we're looking at why don't libraries and rec centers have enough money? Yeah. That's part of the reason. Exactly. Yeah. School, it's because we don't have enough revenue. Right. They're centers. making money and they're keeping it in their pocket. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah. also for everything, mm -hmm. for everything that's developed and new building that's built. There needs to be a green space for so for every so many exactly. houses on a block. Well, because the green spaces they're making, you can't even walk into them. They they gate them up. Yes, exactly. Uh, That's public. what I'm saying. Yeah. But public. They they're public supposed to be public green spaces. Green, green, green spaces. spaces. Okay. You know, instead of the private green spaces, right. which are are happening. That's bananas. Yes. But you know, the square has a couple on their gate, and you can't even walk wow. into them. Yeah. And they're beautiful. It's beautiful, but yeah. what's the use of what's happening? I mean, you can't do nothing with yeah. it. Yeah. They also have to be dog friendly. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of dogs in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. What happens? There's new spaces. It wasn't just doing nothing. They, I think they have one around there to talk about. Yeah, there is one over there. Right? There is one there next to the, the it's a pet shop there or something. Like right. I know that they have. There is a dog. Yeah. 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 But that might be the only one. I don't have a dog, but I do. <laughs> Can we just a few more ideas of what people want to see in the neighborhood? The streets fixed. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yay. <laughs> Why are they fixing the streets? I don't care. Probably because the city doesn't have enough money. No. They do have enough money. Yeah, they just act broke. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's another thing, too. They take a lot of tax on. Yep. Yeah, we're all paying a lot of tax. That's one thing that I haven't seen like around here is like, uh, over at Frankfurt that way, um, they have a doggy pan, like the size of this area. A doggy pan, the people go there with their dogs, yeah, and it's the dog caged up, and they have like benches and stuff, and they, they let the dogs go wild. 
Yeah, you know, well, I see some yeah. people that yeah. may have heard by word of mouth, but I don't know if they've been Probably, Yeah, they're not promoting yeah. it. They do. Yeah. Right. And you go in through that. You walk around. I mean, you, you know. You go in through that. You can go in. It's, it's, it's like a cop there, right? It's like yeah, security, but they don't stop you. You just want to walk the track or, you know. But that's so where you go not all, through, right? Yeah, not all barriers are visible. Yeah. Right? Like sometimes technically the community has access, yeah. but it seems like you're not allowed to go there. Well, that's with the track. They got the track, right? Yeah. Um, I would like to see more family resources and support centers in our communities, um, especially address, addressing mental health. Okay. Um, and family supports, like families get in a lot of trouble right now because of these high rents, can't afford housing, can't afford clothing or food. They need support, and the supports is out there, but it's often comes with a twist and it's not right what's going on with our families right now in Philadelphia. Like individual mental health resources? And families, it has like family focus, not just mental health, but family supports. Like if they need help with heating, clothing, refrigerators, furniture, housing. Okay. Families don't know how to connect to these support services. Okay. Well, one thing is Philadelphia is the poorest big city yep. in the country and nobody ever talks about that that you got all of this seemingly wealth. I'm not going to say the people wealthy because I don't know them. But then you got a big population of poor people. I mean that the government consider poor because I think there's a lot of poor people that, you know, that poverty rate is a joke to me because to me you on life support if you live in that low off the um, um, yes. Yes. And, um, yes. I mean it's a lot of poor people that they don't consider poor, but by yeah, it's horrible to sit here and figure that so many people call, um, fall under that um, qualification of being what the government calls poor. So, so I that's really powerful. Be part of a healthy community. A higher, higher yeah. Community. To me, a health, like, in order to have any community function, people need to have enough money. Mm -hmm. Otherwise. Yeah. the whole thing, 
and uh, no one's really come up with a good solution for what that looks like right now. So like if you're going to talk about that, you got to also think about the, the influx of things that are contributing to the issue of people just looking for housing, right? And so they're coming here, which is pricing you out, which is making you have to move. And then the other piece is uh, uh, in, in saying that y'all don't get information, I'll let you know that uh, Councilwoman Helen Gim has been working on this Fair Work Week. Um, and in, in your discussion, you might want to get involved in what's happening because she can't get the rest of City Council to get on board with this idea. So when you're talking about um, income and balance, Fair Work Week, part of what it is is that people who are on our different, different issues and concerns. I'm finding, I'm so, finding many, so many different mentalities different mentality today. It hard. seems hard. It seems it challenging. Seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard, 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 hard is the concrete that we walk on. on. Everything else, else is a else challenge. Is a challenge. challenge. Um, so, so, so I'm ready. For I'm ready challenge. for this challenge, and I was built, I was for, built this. for this. I think that I think we that all have, we a, all purpose have a purpose in life, and mine is to take on the, the, 